How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here ranking and reviewing the games from Electro Brain for the NES. Well, they only had six games for the Nintendo Entertainment System, but we're going to cover all six of them according to NESGuide.com. That video starts right now. Best of the Best was a game that my friends and I rented pretty regularly for the Super Nintendo, but they have a version of it on the NES too. And the NES version, hey, it plays actually pretty decently. Instead of it being like a punch kick kind of game, if you're not familiar with Best of the Best kickboxing, um, it goes more by which direction on the D-pad you hit. Maybe you think of it a little bit kind of like a karate champ or something. You know, where if you do like, you know, up, maybe that's a uh, roundhouse kick. But like an up forward might be like a spinning back fist. Or just straight forward might be like a straight kick. Or something like that. So there's a lot of uh, gameplay element. Super, super fun on a two-player, especially back then. Doesn't quite hold up to the test of time, unfortunately, because it is kind of slow moving, kind of slow going for a fighting game anyway. But at its time, during its time, man, my friends and I had a lot of fun with this game. I at least want to put this game as a C. By today's standards, it might be closer to a D. If you would have asked me this when I played this game back in our Super Nintendo days when we were playing this game all the time, back then I probably would have put it as an A, at least a B. Uh, but I'll, I'll call it a C and I'll be happy about that. Eliminator Boat Duel was a game that a lot of people are like, I've never heard of that game before. They recently came out with this game on the Nintendo Switch with their NES online service. And it's pretty interesting. It plays at first kind of like a boat version of RC Pro-Am, kind of. But it also switches up gameplay every once in a while. So it looks like you're uh, like, you know, then it goes for like, you know, from RC Pro-Am to Rad Racer. <laughs> so it goes from that kind of top view. Then it goes to the behind the boat view, um, where you're also dodging things. You gotta go through the, the flags and all that. You gotta take out the other guy. It's you versus someone else, and you gotta get to the finish line before they do. Elimination Boat Duel. It's an interesting sort of game, but I'll put this game as a C. I think it's pretty cool. Ghoul School, for some reason, was a game I was kind of not really infatuated with, but I kept coming back to it, because I was like, there's gotta be an ending to this game. And I would play it for a while, and it would just get to a point where like, I didn't really lose my lives. I was just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. And I could probably look up a walkthrough now. I probably should. But I liked this game uh, for its time. It was just kind of simplistic in a way. The enemies don't really give you a whole lot of bother. You can go inside the lockers and stuff like that. But you're at this school, and you're killing these ghouls. The school's big enough, too. I mean, there's a lot of places to go around. It's not like level one, level two, level three. You can go in the different classrooms to fight off the enemies there to get your, you know, health and stuff like that. Um, you can get, I remember, like, you start off with, like, a baseball bat, but, like, you get, like, a towel later that you can, like, whiplash people. You know, remember doing that back in school? You do a little whiplash with the towel. Yeah, that's, you, you have that as a weapon. Why not? Yeah, ghoul school. Um... I mean, I'll give this game a C, at least. It's fun, it's worth checking out. I like the fact that your lead character has a cool look to him. I mean, that's kind of fun. Puss in Boots, it looks like a kid's game, but it is not quite a kid's game. Now, Puss in Boots was kind of like the, the face mascot for Toei Animation, I think it was. And apparently popular enough, if Puss in Boots is one of the episodes of Captain In the Game Master, so it has to have at least that sort of notoriety. And you gotta remember too, this is way before like Antonio Berenderas. This is way before uh, the Shrek movies with all that when, when Puss in Boots was introduced. So this is just based on like the old story, fairy tale. I don't, maybe Puss in Boots had an anime. I'm sure that's the case. The game looks super simplistic. It plays super simplistic, but there's a bit of a charm to it. And I can't place my finger why or why not or how. You know, it looks like a kid's game and you just kind of play it and you're just like, huh, oh, okay, this is, it's something anyway, all right? I'll put this game as a C and I think it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right. I just think it's interesting that more than half of the people who watch my channel aren't even subscribed. If you dig this style of video, I do these kind of videos all the time. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss out on any of these videos. Stanley, the search for Dr. Livingston was such a letdown for me because this game looks like it has everything I want in a game. I remember seeing this game pop up in video game magazines. I was like, oh man, it's cool. You can walk around, it has a little like inspector gadget propeller backpack thing that you can like float down and you know talk to people and walk around and it looks a little Metroidvania like where you can go somewhere or go somewhere else and do something or go somewhere else and um, find all these things, find the clues, talk to people, find out where Dr. Livingston is. I'm guessing that's the deal and you play as Stanley, I suppose. And again, it comes down to gameplay being everything where the gameplay, it's, I mean, like on paper, again, the pictures, the graphics, I mean, what you see here 
looks like my kind of game. And whenever I see it, I was like, man, why don't why don't I like that game? I come back to it. And I was like, then I'm reminded why. I was just like, and it's it's no fault to anything except for the fact that I get my hopes up when I see it, and then those dreams are crushed as soon <laughs> as soon as I play it for a little while anyway. Um, man, this this game hurts my feelings. I'll put it as a D because I keep coming back to it, and it does have some redeeming qualities about it. Um, this game should have been the super pitfall we got. And even though I don't care for super pitfall to begin with, this game's at least better than that. This game would have been a better super pitfall. Maybe this game could have been super pitfall too. <laughs> that would have been fine. Because every publisher needs one of those, I didn't know that was a real game. We have supercars. I promise you this is a real Nintendo game. I promise you there is an actual Nintendo game called Supercars because it's published by Electro Brain. And it plays like a worse version of Super Sprint. This game, man, it's another one that's not great at all. Um, there's too many like 90 degree angles. That's the problem with this game. It's like you're, there's too many, instead of going around the curves, around the course, around the whatever, it's like you go drive straight in the line and then go straight up and then go straight across and then straight down. And um, you're overcompensating your turning for all this and you're not moving the way you should be moving. The, game, the game's called Supercars and you figure that, you know, at least have a cape and fly around or something anyway. That's not the case with supercars. Okay, so it could have been worse, I suppose. But it is a real game, and you can play it right now. And it's called Supercars. And it's, I mean, it's not the worst game I've ever played. And it's, it has a couple of things that are okay, but it's still, it's, it's good enough to be a D. <laughs> not the greatest list of games from any specific publisher, but I mean, couple of redeeming qualities in there. I mean, Ghoul School is kind of worth checking out. There are much better games on this video as well as this video. Binge them all. I've been doing this for a while. There's always new videos coming out soon. So there's a company I haven't covered yet. Call me out in the comments and we'll have to get that video done uh, sooner than later.